Hi, Mary from Reviewer's Diary. Welcome back to my channel. And today is the beginning of the next um, period of time. I'm probably going to do a little over a week uh, this time simply because it's so much easier to tape on the weekend. Today is Friday, November 11th, and today is the next day for the next um, burst of lipstick challenge. But first what I wanted to do, well, I look kind of uh, without lipstick. So the first thing I'm going to do is put on something and then I'm going to talk about last week's lipsticks. All right, so um, I have this Oh Sugar by CoverGirl, which will probably be decluttered at the end of this. Um, because I haven't really worn it that much. Oh, I, maybe I wore it a little too much. It's got a little lipstick edge here. I'm not willing to dip lipsticks in alcohol. Somebody said, oh, you can give away your lipsticks if you dip them in an alcohol solution and clean them and, that, and let them air dry. I, I, don't, I just, you know, I'm totally, I could be completely wrong but I'm completely like against adding alcohol to your products because I can't believe that they, it actually completely dissipates. One of the reasons that I don't repress things and if I reach a point where I really have hardly anything left, it's done. I'm not going to repress, even if it's in a project pan. So I do have on um, a lip balm. Okay, and so I'm going to try this O oh Sugar. I got this in a box a long time ago. Still smells fine, still looks fine. Um, this is the color. And you'd think that it's pink given the container that it's in, but I don't know if it is. I don't remember that it is, so let's give that a try. It's kind of like lip balm by itself. It's very colorful. And I kind of like it, but it does seem like it wants to drift outside the lines. So if I wear this again, I will, you know, I'm sure I'll have to refresh this, um, but I will let you know exactly how much I have to refresh it when I do my um, next video next week. Um, my idea is that everybody seems to do this in a different way. Some people are like, well, you know, um, I'm just going to give my opinion at the end of each week. I've seen it done all different ways. I've seen people who do the do a picture um, like snapshots of each lipstick on Instagram and they come on here on YouTube and then they do like uh, this is what I wore for 30 days kind of a compilation review. I've also seen people not review at all because you know basically this has made me discover like new lipsticks and I think a lot of people get into it for that reason. So I have lipsticks here, some that I had never tried before and some that I knew and loved. And so I'm going to go over them. There are two that are going to be decluttered and I will go over those first. And actually 20% is pretty good for decluttering because I'm going to take two and declutter them, which is going to leave me from 10 to eight. So I'm going to go over the ones I'm going to declutter first. Uh, the first one is this Milani lipstick, which is just, it's just too red um, and it is really dry. I think it's one of those lipsticks that is the kind that lasts forever. I don't know if my daughter will wear it be just because it's so red on. Um, she'll try it, but she might end up giving it to her friend and that's where my declutters go. Um, anytime I declutter, I give to uh, my daughter and her friends to figure out whether they want them or not. So this Milani is definitely going to go. 
it was not comfortable on. It was okay at first, but it over the course of the day, it just felt too dry. Um, even with lip balm on and it was way too like red like hard like they used to back in the 40s and 50s they used to call a hard woman um, women who were um, had thick black eyeliner and bright red lips before it was really like a fashion back in the days when our mothers were kind of like not wearing a lot of makeup but it has that hard woman look and I don't really like it. So this is gonna be decluttered. The other one that's gonna be decluttered, I know a couple of you said you really loved it. I'm gonna put these both on my hand. Actually, I guess I should first put today's lipstick on my the back of my hand, um, even though you can see it on my lips. This is very sheer. So let me just backtrack a tiny bit and that is this O oh, sugar on my hand. I think this comes in different colors, but I'm not positive, but that's like a very sheeny, shiny, like I can see a, a shimmer to it that may not be translating on camera. With the Milani, it's very, very bright, um, dark red. It's thick lipstick, much thicker, obviously. It has a little bit of a satin sheen to it but not very much like you could definitely wear this as like a basic i just don't didn't like it on me it, when i look at my hand in the light here i can see that there's like a satin type of a shimmer to that very very subtle looks almost like a flat lipstick this one the douce which a lot of people you wrote to me and said i really like that on you it's really nice and i have a few of these but this one is not my favorite. Um, this one on very, very dry. In fact, I'm having a little bit of trouble stroking it onto my hand. It's a little bit on the patchy side when you do swatches, but it's not really patchy on the lips. That is it right there. And I do like the color, but it over the course of the day, I think this is meant more for somebody who wants a lipstick that's going to last them pretty much all day. Um, my daughter's going to probably love this. Well, I'm going to give this to her. But over the course of the day, it kind of made my lips feel a little on the dry side. So this one, I'm not in love with it. And I have others that I do like. Um, I have other Doucet lipsticks that I do have to try them uh, more and see if they have the same dry formula, but I didn't really like the way this felt over the course of the day. So these two are gonna be decluttered, which left me with my favorite favorite ones. Um, I had, That left me with eight. And I'm gonna keep all these lipsticks in a baggie until the very end and then I'll just show like a sh long shot of 30 lipsticks standing there. But those two are definitely gonna go. And out of these lipsticks, I liked um, the Max Factor Elizabeth Arden. Honestly, my f and I, I've worn this Tarantino multiple times. You all saw that when I took it out, when I pulled the tube out that it had a very rounded end. So I wore this a lot, but what ended up being my favorite two lipsticks out of this bunch oh, ended up being the two silver tubes. One of them is Glow Minerals, the other one is Cargo. I really loved both of these colors and I really, really loved the way they stroked on. Um, let's see, where shall I stroke them? And they lasted, the strokes on so easy. So like one smooth move. And here's the other one. I'm starting to have a hot flash. Ha! The joys of middle age. Um, and these both stroke on super nice. They're very similar in color, but one is a little bit darker than the other. So it's really hard to see in the light that you're getting, but this one is a little on the pinker side, and this one is a little bit more on the brick type side. And um, the Cargo is this one. And the Glow Minerals is this one. These, 
out of the remaining eight were my favorites. Now, um, the other lipsticks, I've always loved Max Factor lipstick, and this one is no different. This one was very comfortable to wear, and you do have to reapply it uh, during the day, but not a lot, and it left a very light stain to my lips. I will always love my Max Factor lipsticks, and I'm afraid that before I can get to use them all up, I have like four left, I think. I had to declutter my lipsticks because some of them had gone bad, and a lot of them were my Max Factors, which really broke my heart because they're selling in China now, so I'll do a little more research and make sure that's actually the case. This other one is from Elizabeth Arden, and I just really happen to love this color. This is one that I bought and paid for. It wasn't one that came in a in a bag. A lot of my Elizabeth Ardens came in like purchase with a purchase type bags and that kind of stuff. And the doorbells rang, so I'll be right back. Um, so I did want to go over the remaining lipsticks. I've gone over now these four, and. That leaves the remaining four. The City Chic, I was really tempted to declutter, but it wore really nicely and it's very creamy and it's like the perfect like nude type of a color. So I decided for the time being, I'm gonna keep it. I know it's cruelty free, which is another inducement. And I had this mini by Bare Minerals and I really, really love this. I might actually consider buying the full-size lipstick, but first I have to get my lipstick collection under control before I can do that. <laughs> and uh, also this Laura Geller lipstick. It, just, it says lipstick, but some of her stuff is like lip sheer type stuff. And I really love this color. And this is a very thin formula that's more like a gloss than a not a gloss, I should say it's sheer but beautiful on and very, very comfortable to wear. Good thing about this 30 day challenge is that I have had these lipsticks forever. I'd say probably about a year to a year and a half and I never used them. So it's good because I'm discovering that there are some things that I really love that I haven't been using. And then finally, this Tarantino lipstick. You can see this is like not even at a point anymore. And unfortunately it is broken. Um, so I only can roll it up this far. It doesn't look broken when I look in the tube, but it does kind of wobble. So this is like, you can see how much I've worn this in the past. This is super comfortable super nice little on the dark side but i think i can handle it so so that leaves me with these eight lipsticks which i just reviewed and the two that are going to be decluttered so i'm going to put all of this aside i'm going to actually have a baggie that says declutter and i'm going to have a baggie that says keep and that way i can start this drawer off with the first two lipsticks um the first I should say. That way I can start this bin off again empty with one lipstick at a time and this is the beginning lipstick for today which is Friday the 11th. So this is lipstick number 11 and I think this time it's going to run Friday through next Saturday or Sunday. I'm not sure if it'll be eight days or nine days. But it is far easier for me to tape on the weekends than it is during the week. So far, this is very comfortable. It doesn't even feel like I have lipstick on. Just saying, I really like it. It's too bad you're cover girl. Yikes. Okay, I already know this is not the most flattering light, um, but my office is like closed up and dark. And so, um, anyway, I did want to, I have to run out the door, so all I have on is a little under eye cover and mascara. And this is my next lipstick, which is Ulta Super Shiny Lip Butter. Now, I know everybody is kind of getting tired of the whole matte thing, and I know I never really liked it. <laughs> 
Um, it always made my lips feel dry, and a lot of people are kind of over that. So anyway, here it is. Um, I hope you can see that, and this is on my lips. Hi there! I just recorded my third lipstick! <laughs> and I hadn't turned on the record button. Have you ever done that? Those of you out there who post to YouTube, occasionally you'll set everything up, you'll turn everything on, and what do you do? You forget to hit the record button. So today is the 13th of November and this I just wiped off the lipstick that I had put on. Um, it didn't leave a stain on my hand either, so which is awesome. But this is an Ulta lipstick that I pulled out. I have a lot more makeup on today. I have the um, Superhero palette on and I don't care what anybody else says. This is a freaking awesome palette. I really like it. I've been playing with it a lot since I got it. And I will be doing a full superhero um, eye look um, tutorial because that's been requested. So anyway, I'll be doing that someday when I have no makeup on. So maybe this week's one day. And one thing I did notice, um, I do feel a lot better with some makeup on even if it's just under eye and mascara. So I'm gonna make an effort to always make sure that I have a decent amount of makeup on so that I can feel, I, you know, makes you feel better somehow. So anyway, um, so I'd picked this Ulta lipstick. This is very nondescript tube. And by the way, this nail polish is coming off today, um, but because to, it's all like really worn off and today's Sunday and I'm going to do my weekly makeup basket today. By the time you see this, the week weekly makeup basket will have already posted because you're not going to see this until the end of the next seven to eight days. So anyway, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> um, so this is the Ulta lipstick. And this is the color it looks in the tube. This, um, in its little gray packaging, came as part of a um, giveaway bag. I think I had to buy like over $50 worth of stuff, which is easy to do. Uh, of course, now I'm like pretty broke, so I can't really do that until I get my gift certificate for my birthday, and I might not use it for makeup. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but anyway, um, so this is it. I'm gonna stroke it on my hand. It's got a very creamy feel to it and it's, it seems slightly sheer. And so now I'm gonna put it on. This is like super creamy. I really like that. It doesn't seem like it wants to run. Um, I don't see that it's bleeding. So I don't know if I would need a pencil with this. I probably would use a pencil with it. But anyway, um, this is how it looks on. Let me roll this up a little bit. One of the non-blessings of middle age is your lips start to shrink a little bit. <laughs> I just put this lipstick on thinking the camera was recording me and for some reason it was not. It's been a long day. <laughs> anyway, for today, since my eye look is not too wild and crazy, I decided to pick something brighter and this was screaming bright to me um, from my lipstick caddy. The rest of them look kind of like average casing, um, but this one seems like the brightest. I forgot that I wanted to use a purple today, but I will try to make that on Wednesday. I do have a purple lipstick that's really purple, but I think it's a usable purple. so. I just won't do it on Tuesday or Thursday because of class. Um, I just can't teach class. So 
Anyway, I did just tape myself putting this lipstick on, I thought. So anyway, it is already on. I stroked it on my hand and this is a NYX Butter lipstick. And um, here's what it looks like on. And honestly, I really like the way this feels enough to buy more of these. Um, this is definitely not going to be a declutter, so really like this. Very awesome. Feels good. No weird taste. Nothing nothing negative. It's not trying to feather. Uh, it doesn't look like it needs a lip liner. It's just awesome. So anyway, um, stay tuned for more. Hopefully tomorrow I'll remember to turn the camera on when I do my lipstick. <laughs> Jeez, I can't believe it. Jeez Louise. <laughs> All right, stay tuned. Hi, Mary from Reviewer's Diary. My world fell apart. And so I have four of the 10 lipsticks that we're going to follow in my 30 uh, lipstick challenge. This will make 14. So I have four lipsticks here and I liked all of them. And I did tape, um, about all of them and so I'm putting everything together so that you can see it just up to what we've done obviously not making the 30-day lipstick challenge mainly because my life has gone out of control and now I have to go um, take care of someone on family medical leave and so there's a whole video about that but I will be gone um, from the video world for about uh, I think I'm allowed 12 weeks, so I'm thinking that it will probably be not that long. Um, anyway, watch that video for details. And so I only have four lipsticks, and fortunately, I love all of them. And so I will probably bring a couple of them on my trip. Now, the first one was this NYX lipstick, and it's uh, NYX Butter Lipstick. Now the number and everything will be down below. I was pleasantly surprised because the casing on this is so bright, but the lipstick is really not that bright. It's just like perfectly beautiful. Um, it's it's just like it, it's more beautiful on than it looks in the tube. It really is. Another one, let's see, I'm going out of order, was an Ulta lipstick. I have to put a little star on it because this is really beautiful on as well. And I do really love Ulta lipsticks. And the consistency of both of these was like super nice and creamy. Not the kind of lipstick where if you're one of those people who likes like matte lipsticks that stay on your lips all day long, ooh, I don't because they make my lips feel dry no matter what I do. And I've seen people with like stuff like that on out and it's all cracked. And so come, make sure you look in the mirror if you're one of those people who likes to leave the same lipstick on all day mm, because sometimes it cracks. But anyway, neither of these are that kind of lipstick. They're both super creamy and super, super nice. And the colors are just beautiful on. The other two are a little bit more sheer. This one is from CoverGirl. I got it in some box. And it is super sheer, so it doesn't come on that color, but it is pretty bright. It feels like a lip balm though, but it is like pretty intense color-wise. My favorite one, and one of my favorite lipsticks forever from Ulta is this color Rome. And I've had other colors too, but I always come back to this one. This is beautiful and you can see that I've used, wow, I've used quite a bit of this over time um, and I actually bought spares because I loved it so much and so this is going to probably go to Florida with me on my trip as well. So that is the four more lipsticks and um, like I said I kept the ones I liked together and I'm going to be giving away decluttering too. So out of the other four, because now I have 14 out of 30, through no fault of my own, um, <laughs> uh, 
there were only two that I really didn't like that much, and that was the um, Duce and the Milani. Very dry, and their names are listed down below. Very dry feeling and not altogether pleasant. So anyway, this concludes my 30-day lipstick challenge. Uh, a little bit early. I'm going to do it again uh, so that I can get a full period in. I didn't wear lipstick at all this week because I was too busy crying because things have just been awful and so um, I did tape uh, the lipstick when I wore it and talked about it when I put it on and I will swatch actually since I swatched the other ones I will swatch these four colors on my arm. Okay so these lipsticks are listed down below in the description bar and this one is the Ulta lipstick. Hopefully you can see that well. And this one is the NYX um, butter lipstick. Does not look that bright on, on, at least on lips. And this is the CoverGirl sheer stuff. It's pretty bright. And finally, my one of my favorite lipsticks of all time is this Ulta Butter Lipstick. And this is in the color room. I just love it. It's very sheer, so I definitely recommend those. So I hope you enjoyed what you did of this challenge. I did want to make sure to post another video about this just because I did use four more. I wanted to make a closing statement um, about the challenge why I'm not continuing it being the fact that I have to go out of state on FMLA to take care of a family member who's sick. So um, I'm going to be off screen for a little while. So rather than just leave the 30 day lipstick challenge never finished, I figured I would go ahead and finish the part that I did. I did make all the videos for these when I used them and that was before the world fell apart for me. So. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Um, this has been Mary with the last four lipsticks that I've used, and so that makes a total of 14. So I'm going to start from scratch next time, and I'll start with lipstick one. I don't know when I will be back, though, from my FMLA. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. This has been Mary with Reviewer's Diary, and have a beautiful evening. Good night.